What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the Prophet. Hey yo man, so today we back plugged in again for another Bleach Brave Souls video. This is gonna be a special one because I'm gonna try and wrap up a lot of information all in this video. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you drop me a like. We're gonna go for a like goal of a thousand likes can we get a thousand likes on this video if you guys pass through the video make sure you smack that like button okay i greatly appreciate it if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that already um also my guild catharsis really really needs some members right now so if you can complete all standard weeks of guild quest and if you're working on completing hard guild quest or if you can clear hard guild quest make sure you let me know get with me on discord or let me know in the comment section down below but discord is going to be your best friend anybody in the guild is pretty much going to want to be in discord anyway so and then and that's where you go to contact me and go for more giveaways in the future so the first thing you want to know and understand is just starting this is going to be tip number one not every banner is going to be good to summon on okay now when we have premium banners or arena banners a lot of the times these banners can be skipped and generally what happens is a new banner comes out and then a really good rerun banner comes and then when these things correlate there's going to be something very very good at the end of the month so even if you're a newer player and you grinded 2,000 orbs even though you have thousands of orbs that you can grind the time and investment that you spent for those orbs is a lot to you especially at that time so you don't want to use all of your orbs on a on a character that you really don't need not only that but there's going to be better stuff to summon on i would rather go 5,000 orbs in on a great banner than go 1,000 orbs in for mediocre banners okay so keep that in mind and how do you know what's a good banner this is a bad banner how do you know what's a good banner we have a lot of resources especially as you know bleach brave souls players we have something beautiful called the bleach brave souls simulator and i will as always link that in the description this is the bleach brave souls simulator that is literally bbs simulator.com and that's where we are right now so with this you can actually look and see every single thing about characters so as much stuff as we like as much you know people say oh this is my favorite character that's my favorite character or i like this kind of character or, or i like that kind of character this is where you can literally see every character in the game and you can compare them straight up okay so if you're wanting to know all right let's say we had a new character this new shinji that came out you want to know how he performs well you can click this it shows you his quote first of all and it's going to tell you all of his information stats and skills right this is all stuff that's available in game so this information right here although it's very important isn't the high reason that you'd want to come use a website to go to the bleach brave soul simulator so i'll show you what it is all these stats and skills are very very important right so your stats and skills are your first priority interaction of how your character interacts meaning if you have frenzy and you have havoc then you're going to be expected to have a good set of strong attacks to complement you having frenzy if you're a character that has flurry and you use normal attack damage people are going to want you to have you know normal attack damage skill or damage reduction something that pairs well with your kit right so what you can't see in the game are the actual strong attack data of your character so see right here you go to attacks all that's in game as well but this stuff isn't right here it tells you your ranges and your data and your strong attack damage as well as your collision and your collision is a very very big thing in this game there are two types of collision range collision and melee collision melee collision is consistent smooth you see that it has a max hit of six. Yukio's got a lot of range collision, if I recall. Attack. All right, so let's just go over the, different, over the differences here, okay? So there's also some things that I want to clear up too, because being a melee or a range character doesn't have anything to do with your collision. So you can have range characters that have melee collision and you know melee characters that have range collision it works both ways but i'll explain what the difference is all right so 
with a this is a lunge strong attack and um i'll show you guys about the similarity a little bit later but lunge strong attack so 570 aoe 120 magnification cooldown eight seconds which is standard for every first strong attack but it says the max hits is six right so with a melee collision attack you get your max hits immediately now i showed an example of this on the screen bam you do the lunge and you're at six hits automatically right um and then you see here this has a vortex but it's still melee collision to melee collision third strong attack is of course going to be melee collision so i'll just give you an example right so you see that this is a ranged character and you see the type right there says shave whenever you see shave stuff is looking pretty dangerous okay when it's shave versus aoe all right so with range collision attacks you there are different things with length speed time and the most important thing is the magnification if you see here standard first strong attack the magnification is 120 percent well you see right here this says 18 percent okay but this percentage right here is 18 percent so that means effectively that you're gonna have to hit the enemy more times to get the effective damage of this but that's just giving you a rough estimate and if you see the max hits is at 14 rather than six so what this means is that you can instead of getting a max hits of six and your damage being consistent every single time you might get one hit to ten hits so range collision attacks i put an example of that on the screen as well you hit the enemy and it sends them back flying the damage is not consistent so the biggest thing about your interaction is in this game your interaction is killing things yes there are some times where it might you know give you some benefit to flick the status element and like inheritance trial when the enemies have iron skin which means when they're afflicted with the status element they take increased damage so in those cases yes being able to proc range collision attacks can be better at proccing status effects because there are more hits however you're literally throwing your damage out of the window so when a character has a range collision first strong attack or a second strong attack they are not going to be extremely good and competitive when it comes to clearing content now there are some massive outliers in this case people that have the strong attack of this kisuke and we'll go here right so same thing we're going to look at characters and then you go to similarity right and so first strong attack similarity second strong attack similarity third strong attack similarity so th these are the people that your second strong attack is exactly the same as these people the best second strong attack in the game this is the most transcendent strong attack in the entire game it is the best strong attack which is a 960 distant aoe and then it's a homing vortex at 630 aoe this legitimately has 120 and 120 so it has double the magnification okay so as you guys saw earlier there's only three characters in the entire game with this strong attack that is this kisuke this aizen sixth anniversary and fifth anniversary byakia so even if these characters do have a range collision first strong attack being at the worst strong attack in the game the second strong attack literally does twice the damage of any other strong attack and has 50 times the hits it's actually insane the fact that some like this is in the game you can take a look here a standard character this guy second strong attack do you see how this is a vortex as well aoe to aoe distant 650 to 650 but the magnification is 100 percent to 20 percent whereas this strong attack is straight up 120 and 120 it's literally double the damage on no character are you going to find any sort of damage that exceeds 120 for a second strong attack other than this strong attack which is literally the best strong attack in the game which is why a character like this kisuke although he has the worst first strong attack in the game he has literally the best second strong attack with a debilitating status ailment two of them in fact
And one other very, very important thing, one of the most important things in the game right now is the point event. A lot of people always ask me how much point event should I do? You know, what? how many bonuses should I have? Guys, I'm gonna tell you like this. Now, depending on how many bonus you have, that's gonna be the biggest factor, but no matter how many bonuses you have, I would recommend getting to two million on every single point of it. I don't care if you have one bonus, zero bonuses, okay? Now, what you need to realize is, yes, yeah, some people might have four bonuses, but people are going 15 and 20 million. So you don't think you can get to two million with zero bonuses? Because you can. Uh, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, with, with you know the regularity that I play this, you know, and I'm not doing point event. I never, I don't use tickets or spirit orbs for tickets. I use all of my tickets that are collected if I can on the point event. And then this just allows tickets to just constantly be recycling in and funneling in on your account, on my account. Now, if you're a newer account and you know, there's a lot of character that you can gain from premium characters because the point of it is going to get you everything you need for your account. The only thing that the point of it doesn't get you are super link slot potions and some of the scrolls and stuff like that. But um, in which those you get from Chronicle Quest and Epic Rage, which we'll be talking about Epic Rage, Sinkaimon, and Chronicle Quest on our next part of this video. So as I said, if we can get this video anywhere between 500 to a thousand likes i would just go ahead and get the second part out immediately because i know that you guys are hyper interested in this topic a lot of people don't know this but on the bleach on the bbs simulator there is actually a function called the builder okay if i wanted to see and as you guys see i just clicked up here where it says builder and i already have two people set up so i have bruno with one of five uh, SP or one of five, you know, transcendence, and he has level 10 SP slot, no killer or anything like that, no familiar. So these are going to be the links we're going to use with the accessories, and then the next character we're going to be comparing this to is the new Kisuke that came out. A lot of people are wanting to know who's better between these characters head to head. Just show you directly their damage, okay? So you hit evaluate and then this way you can pick what is the scenario so if you wanted to say with advantage right put both of them with advantage and then you can put what killer they are so reaper or you know with the buff or with the debuff proc let's just keep everything standard okay so just standard without any procs or anything like that right Kisuke, by the way, you see his first strong attack in this scenario is going to do about 43,000 damage, right? But you see that Bruno, his is going to do about 62,000, right? And then when you get into the real big different situation is the second strong attack versus the second strong attack. But yeah, and Bruno's special hits harder because of the bombardment. So these are the biggest differences between these characters. And this is literally what it comes down to. Kisuke, his first strong attack is worse. So this is Bruno, right? So Bruno, first strong attack and his soul bomb are going to hit way harder. Your first strong attack is the most important strong attack because you're going to be doing it the most. And that is pretty much what that is. Now when it comes to the third strong attack battle and the second strong attack battle, Kisuke is essentially going to win that because he's going to hit harder after his, you know, after his debuff comes in, right? So this is just basically a bare comparison of these characters. This is going to tell you everything that you need. Now there are the scenarios based with no proc, based with proc, I'm sure. Uh, so we can get into all the information a little bit later, but I just wanted to make this video to give you guys a lot of information, put this at your disposal. If you never knew this, make sure you go ahead and give your boy a like and a share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you guys listen to more Bleach Brave Souls content, if you're ready for more content, if you want to see me do other types of content, wide variety things, if you want to see me grow to 100k, man, make sure you hit that button, hit that bell, and subscribe for more content. Till next time, I love y'all. See you next video. Ah! On a sunny day, for myself I'll make a way.
I'm never done that again